What is going on guys? This is Crozen and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. And this time the Paladin of Lightning Strength Faith build. So the Paladin of Lightning was actually one of my most popular builds back in Dark Souls 3. And I made a few different versions with strength and dexterity and a lot of you really enjoyed those back in the Dark Souls 3 days. So I wanted to bring one back for Dark Souls Remastered and it took a while for me to really come up with something I was comfortable with. But I finally feel like this build worked out perfectly and I feel excited to uh, release this one to you guys. So for the stats, all I really did here was I went for 47 vitality, 16 attunement for 4 attunement slots, that way you can get sunlight blade, replenishment for that paladin like feel, wrath of the gods and great lightning spear, and then 43 endurance because you will need 43 in order to have a medium roll with all of this armor set. Otherwise, anything less will give you the fat roll, and that is something that you do not want on this build. And uh, just keep that in mind. If you do want to settle for anything with uh, lower endurance, then you probably have to drop the secondary weapon on here. Or if you're leveling up, then that is also an option. But I also went to 27 strength. Now, 27 strength will give you the same two-handed damage as 40 strength and being that this build you're primarily going to be two handing the mace it works out perfectly and it saves you 13 points so that way you can have a little bit more faith and vitality and endurance and then I went for that 14 dexterity because we will be using something similar to the strength faith build that I made uh, about a few days ago which uh, revolved around a secondary balder side sword and I made this one lightning infused so that way it keeps the lightning base uh, of this build and then you can even go for lightning show tail or the lightning rapier as secondaries those all work out as good options and I went up to 35 faith now you only really need 30 faith with this build but I wanted to get a little bit more extra damage not only on wrath of the gods but on the sunlight blade buff as well and great lightning spear and I even combined that with the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn and the damage gets to be pretty crazy on Wrath of the Gods and who doesn't like Wrath of the Gods unless you are not a faith user. Uh, so for the main weapon I went with the mace. I feel like the mace is the most paladin like weapon if you're not going for a paladin Leroy cosplay and I wanted to make my own paladin here so that's why I felt like the mace worked out the best and the way this build works out is you want to use one of these faster swing and strength weapons. So something like the mace, reinforced club, morning star, even the war pick or the pickaxe. I know the war pick is more of like a quality type weapon, but it can still work out well on this too. You could even go for the butcher knife or the battle axe, but the butcher knife does require a little bit more weight, so you will need more endurance if you wanted to go for that one. And I know that one does give you a little bit of HP regen every time you hit someone, uh, but it's really a uh, hardly anything at all to even worry about so don't kind of base your build around the butcher knife uh, so you go for all of these but like I said mace that's like the paladin type of weapon for me and sanctus for uh, your shield and then the canvas talisman the cool thing about this is because the sanctus doesn't really give you a lot of HP regen you could even swap that out for something like the light crossbow with uh, lightning bolts and this will actually stagger a lot of mages who don't have a lot of poise so that's also something to keep in mind if you don't want to use the shield and then for the armor set I went for crown of the dark sun with a little bit of the black iron set and then Havel's gauntlets and the main thing here is you want to have at least 76 plus poise so that way you can power through anything and that is how this build works out because if you are going up against an ultra great sword user you can swing this twice as fast as them so that means that two of these hits will stagger them before two of their hits will stagger you so you can pretty much trade blows with some of the bigger heavier weapons in this game and that is how this build works out guys so i hope you really enjoy this one and let's go into some pvp and we can see how the paladin of lightning works out so one thing you have to be careful with when you use this thing in pvp is the fact that you do have two buffs so you got to make sure that you are a good amount of distance away from people if you want to get both of them off safely. Otherwise, uh, if you can only get one off, then by all means go for Sunlight Blade for the extra damage. Okay, this guy's using a Murakumo, Chaos Lover. Uh, let's see if he tries to backstab me. Normally that's all these guys do who use that weapon. Okay, ooh, I got him. 
Uh, so as you see, this uh, this build does a lot more damage than say. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. There is that damage. Uh, but this build does a lot more damage on Wrath of the Gods than the other Strength Faith build because I am using not only Crown of the Dark Sun, but like I said, I did add Ring of the Sun's Firstborn and 35 Faith to this. So you'll really notice the the damage differences in Wrath of the Gods and even a little bit in the uh, weapon buff here. So. That's why I think I like this one better, and obviously it's the Paladin of Lightning. So going back to comparing and contrasting the regular Strength Faith build versus the Paladin of Lightning, obviously that build had the fast roll, so it was probably a little bit more user friendly, and you had a lot more mobility as well in order to dodge mages or anything of the sorts. So uh, that's something that you have to uh, consider when you uh, look at both of them, uh, which one you like the most. Okay, this guy, I could probably just fucking go to work on him. Oh, this guy failed on his parry. He failed on his parry. A lot of people parry because they see you having the mace. Uh, that actually works out well because you do have Wrath of the Gods. So whenever you do uh, think that they're going to parry you, that's when you just go and spam that instead of <laughs> spamming your weapon. And normally you'll get that right because you can kind of tell when people are getting ready to try to parry you. Uh, so as of right now, I don't have no other builds lined up, so let me know if you guys want to see any other kind of builds. I'm even maybe considering starting up a new Let's Play just so I can have something other on the channel than Dark Souls Remastered builds. Oh, that guy whiffed badly. Oh, you are not going to last with your katana if you're going up against this mace. Oh, damn. What the hell is this guy doing? Is he casting force? <laughs> Forced to start the fight. Oh no, that's Wrath of the Gods. What the fuck? Okay, that's five Wrath of the Gods. That's six. Okay, well, uh, this guy has uh, a Wrath of the Gods problem. Oh shit, he actually blocked. I thought I killed him there for a second. It doesn't matter though. Uh, what was that guy doing? He was like just casting Wrath of the Gods like crazy. So I'm waiting to go up against a mage because I feel like that is going to be the biggest weakness of this build. Just because it is a strength build and you do have the medium roll. Okay, this guy is running like hell. Uh, where are you running to? Where are you running to, Lum? Oh, that's going to leave you open for a backstab uh, when you're just going swing crazy. Okay, can I get like a Wrath of the Gods? Oh, yes I can and that will be his death. Okay, so it is this guy again, and I don't know what he's going to use this time, but last time, I think, wasn't this the dude that was spamming Wrath of the Gods like six times? Okay, he's obviously not doing that this time. Alright, let me try to whiff, okay. Like, another cool thing you could do with this weapon especially is like whiff, and then make them think that you're done attacking, and then wait till they run in on you. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? I didn't mean to kick there, though. Uh, I did not mean to kick. I did not mean to do that. Oh, uh, what is he doing? You trying to use Wrath of the Gods? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so. Oh, now he's trying to parry. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, I think I hit him though. Oh, I will take that. I will take that damage. And this guy is like lagging a little bit too. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's just get backstabbed for me. Thank you. Just get backstabbed. So the wait continues as far as finding a mage today. This is pretty surprising because normally mages are like the most common thing you see in this game. And today it's pretty much all melee guys. Okay, this guy is a little bit of a mage. He's got the Moonlight Greatsword. Uh, he's at least an intelligence build if nothing else. If nothing else, he's at least that. Okay, let's see what he's going to do here. I do have Wrath of the Gods. I want to see if I can't like lure him in. Or that. That'll work too, I guess. That'll work too, because he's just like not even attacking or nothing. Alright, I'm going to back up here. The thing about the mace is that you have to get really close to people in order for it to really work out well. Okay, there we go. And, oh, never mind. I thought I was going to stunlock him. Okay, I do have the quicker weapon though now. I do have the quicker weapon though now, and that should be enough for you, sir. So, finally... A mage summons me, so this will be the ultimate test right here because I hate having the medium roll facing mages, not to mention the fact, oh, that's perfect, 
That's perfect. Do that, please. Do that, please. Actually, hit that fucker. Oh, hit him again, please. I did. I did. Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be really close. Oh, my God. How the fuck did that not hit him? What? Now he dies? What just happened? What just happened? I'm lost. So that right there is the only way to get Great Lightning Spear to work for you. I'm actually surprised that worked, even though I think that guy was lagging. Uh, that's why I probably killed him beforehand. Okay, this guy, I think he's like looking for a backstab. Are you looking for a backstab? Oh, yes you are. Yes you are. Oh, and he actually got one. This guy's like walking in place. Did you guys see that? Oh, I don't even care. I'll power through that shit all day. All day! I will power through your Zweihander and your Black Flame. That's got nothing on me. Well, it looks like Gagarin is back for the third time today. And this guy has been an adventure, I gotta say. Uh, between casting Wrath of the Gods 24-7 to just uh, playing like this, trying to backstab me. Alright, please try to parry me or something. So that way you're not just doing the same exact thing. Alright, he is really trying to backstab. Either that, or he's just running around like crazy. Oh, wow. Alright, I'm gonna do something here. Can I hit this? Oh, yes I can! Yes I can! <laughs> oh my god, that actually made me laugh. That was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. That is how you kill someone in Dark Souls right there. It's kind of weird when you think about it, because the curved swords, such as the falchion, are the ones that actually stunlock people uh, by spamming R1. And those are more aggressive playstyles, and the mace is more of like the defensive playstyle of spamming R1s and stunlocking people. Oh, this guy's got that shit. Oh, he's got the show tail. I do not like that show tail. I'll attack you once, because I don't know if you're going to try to parry, but wow, that was a pretty neat combo. It's like Mace, Wrath of the Gods, Mace. Or wait a second, I had that backwards. Wrath of the Gods, Mace, Wrath of the Gods. Uh, that was a pretty nice combo. So a Dark Moon Blade and Washing Pole user with the medium roll. This will be crazy. Oh, are you going to go up against me? Oh no, don't tell me you're going to try that. Why are people doing this? You cannot power through a Mace. A Mace will wreck your face if you try to go up against it. I'll probably try some of the other strength weapons that I got as well, just so you guys can see a little bit of variety. But uh, generally speaking, all of these faster swing and strength weapons all have the same movesets, uh, so you're not really going to get much of a difference uh, other than uh, how they look and a couple of different R2 attacks. Alright, is this guy going to do the same thing he did last time? Oh my god, 724 damage? You gotta be joking me right now. You gotta be joking me right now. Uh, what is he doing? I think he's gonna heal. I think he's gonna heal. I have a feeling that's what he's gonna do. Alright, I'm gonna try to see if he's gonna look for a backstab. Uh, why are you not attacking me, bro? He's not even doing anything. Uh, I'm just gonna Great Lightning Spear. I might actually hit him with this. I might actually hit him if he tries to heal and stop. But he's not doing anything. Oh, I still caught his ass. Uh, so, I don't know why he was scared to attack me. Uh, the mace is not that intimidating, is it? It's honestly crazy to think that a weapon this good you can get at the very beginning of the game if you start with the cleric. Uh, it's just insanity to think that. Oh, this guy, he's got a Zweihander. I'm not afraid of no Zweihander now. Not with the mace, I'm not. Uh, this guy has some weird-ass looking armor, though. He has some weird-ass looking armor. Oh, and he just smacked the hell out of me with that R2. He smacked the hell out of me. Uh, I want to see you try to attack me, like dead on. Are you going to try it? Oh, you are, but you're going to do the rolling attack. Okay, I think this guy knows better. I think he knows what the mace can do. And I th Oh, he's almost dead. Did I hit him? I don't even know if I hit him or not. I don't even know if I hit him or not. Uh, but this is a good example of just going out into this. That way I don't have to worry about nothing. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. If he's just going to keep running back, maybe I can actually snipe his ass or do something like that and finish him that way. So that's a neat combo I've been noticing. Uh, you can cast this, have people roll in, and bam with that R2 with the Balder Side Sword.